Hi guys, welcome back to Laravel 8 tutorial. Today we will discuss about Laravel controller. So last day we have learned routes. Here we can see the routes. We have created the link that is slash users with the gate request. So if we click this link, then our output can be seen. So the hi, this is users. So we used to print result from route files. Now we will learn how you can create a controller and connect controller with the routes. Laravel framework follows MVC architecture. Here controller is responsible to process logics and call model and view. So first we need to learn how to create a controller. To create a controller we need to use php artisan make controller and suppose i am giving the name of the controller that is home controller so we can see our controller created successfully so in the directory if we search on the controller so it is http controller we can get the controller that is home controller.php so i am getting the controllers so i am going to create a method that is public function suppose index so here i am writing the public in public is the access space where you can write your private protected by default if you use the public method we can access from all sections that's the reason i'm defining the public here so i want to print from this hi this is from home controller So if you call this function, this will be the output. So let's define routes. So first we need to use the route and I am calling this function with the gate method that is gate and I want to see from slash home and I need to provide the name of the controller so that is a home controller and we need to provide the class and i need to mention the method name here so that is the index i am calling the index method that is this method and and i am providing the name that is home dot index and another things we need to use the controller so here we need to use the name of the controller so we need to use use app http controller and the name of the controller is home controller so now uh, if i click on home then my index function will call that is belongs to home controllers so if we run this we can see here before that we need to start our server php artisan serve and oops sorry uh, i misspelled the controller name that will be controllers hi this is from home controller as which this is showing so we have created the home controller and registered that in a web.php that is in a route so we can see all the routes leads so using php artisan route list so we can see our home dot index is registered in our routes now i want to pass a parameter through the controller to pass a parameter we need to provide the name 
and we need to accept this name variable from this home controller that is dollar name so if we add this and the name is dollar name so now if we run this and pass a parameter so home and i'm sending a parameter suppose the laravel so we can see the output hi this is from home controller and the name is laravel now if you don't pass this then it is showing error that means our parameter is required parameter so to make it optional we need to use the question mark here and we need to provide the default value that is null we can provide the default null value so if you run this and i'm not providing any parameter here so hi this is from home controller and the name is blank because i have not providing any things so if we want to set the default value as tutorial so if we not provide any value by default it will show then the name is tutorial but if we pass the variable that is i am passing variable and if you run this and we can see the passing value is printing so we can see the basic controller and how can we register with the routes now i want to show you some another types of creating controller that is resource controller so in the above when you create a home controller it created just a simple controller and we are creating our own methods and creating routes for that now i am going to show you some additional feature with laravel controller creation so i am going to create the resource controller so how we can create resource controller the same like the php artisan make controller suppose i am creating the teacher controller so if we want to create the teacher controller and provide the resources here If you provide the resource parameter here, that will become the resource controller. So our controller is created. So if you can see this, I am getting the teacher controller, and inside the teacher controller, I am getting all the functions that is function index, the function create, store, so edit and update, destroy all the methods we are getting. And we can register the teacher controller in very simple way so how we can add this so we need to use our use app http controllers and after that we need to provide the teacher controller so using route resource we can set our name of the controller that is teacher controller and i am providing the url that is teacher so we need to use teacher controller and class so this is a syntax to register the resource controller now if we check our route list we can see php addition route list there we can see we have the in home home dot index that is the home dot index and after that there is a teacher there is a teacher dot index teacher dot store teacher dot create teacher dot so teacher dot uh, update edit destroy all those things it is automatically generated in controller and automatically register in the routes so in this way if we can create the another controller that is i am going to create the student controller so the student controller is created we can see the student controller is created we, and we can register here in the same way that is student controller and i am providing the student link here and we need to register 
the student controller also here so I am just copy and paste this now if we check the route list we can see there is also student is register and teacher is register so there is another things in the routes we can we can register multiple resource route in a single array that is we need to write the resource and we are creating array that is array and we can write that is teacher and after that we need to assign the particular class name and after that student and after that the particular student class so we need to write the student controller so basically these two lines is same as these lines so if we close this and check in route list we again can see all the teachers and student routes are registered in our route list so it's all about laravel controller there is some new changes for beginner they learn as a phrase but if you already used old version of laravel framework you should update your code as for new version so please comment if you have any queries if you like this video please like and subscribe this channel for more video next day i will discuss about laravel view please keep watching this video thanks for watching